what is up will here and today i'll be showing you how to make a main menu inside of roblox studio so let's get into this click on the little plus next to started gui click on screen gui to add it in rename it to menu after that click the plus next to menu and add in a frame this will be your main frame so what we're going to want to do is customize it but first thing first to make it fit on all platforms and devices and not just the one that you are using you need to find the size which is here and as you can see there's x and y the offset needs to be set to zero on both of them and then to change the size you use the scale and one is the maximum so if you put one on both it fills the screen so i'm going to be doing that there it's covered the screen however in roblox like if you're playing a game you might have noticed that there's a little bar at the top that's semi-invisible well you don't actually want people to be able to see your game inside of the main menu most of the time i know some games would be an exception but most of the time i don't think you do so what you're going to want to do is firstly customize your background color i'm going to use this nice light blue and then border color you need to make sure it's the same so maybe add it to custom colors or something then border size pixel do not set it to zero so it's not there make it about 100 i'm actually not sure what it is exactly to cover up the bar i think it's like 25 to 50 somewhere around then but i do 100 just to be safe and now if i press play this top bar here you can still see the uh, little logos but you can't see the game which is good now click on the plus inside the frame and click text button in the text button we're going to quickly customize this okay so here's our button customized just scale it up or scale it down make it however you want but again make sure that the offset is zero so here the offset isn't actually zero so I'm just going to fix that. Then you're going to want to right click on that inside of Explorer and click duplicate. So then there's the second one. Then click and drag it down. And as you can see, there's one behind it. Put this one slightly below or maybe move it up. Depends how you want. Personally, I think play should be at the top. Also, this top one, rename it to play and make sure the text is played. Then same for the bottom one, except rename it to settings. And then make the text settings instead of play. I gave it a little border just so you know where the button is. But you don't have to do that. Then inside the frame again, add a text label and this is going to be like your game name so you'll have it at the top of your screen but first you need to make sure the offset is zero also bear in mind that it doesn't really show the top bar here so you're gonna want to make it at the very top so it doesn't look that odd if you want it near the top if you kind of just want it lower down that's fine then in the text make sure to put your game name um what's popular on roblox right now and i guess simulators and tycoon haven't been doing that bad um i'll just call it simulator tycoon there then text color i'm gonna make this white and i like to use Arial bold for all of my gui text and then if we scroll up here we need to find background color you can either just choose the background color and get rid of a uh, border size pixel that is if you don't want border size pixel if you do you need to have a background and have it same color but if you don't you can just set background transparency to one. Oh, i selected the wrong font there we go so like i said i'm just going to move this up so it doesn't look odd now if we press play this is what our GUI will look like as soon as people join the game. There. 
so you can customize it if you want. Okay, now click the plus next to the play button and add in a script. Inside of the script, copy and paste the first script inside of the pin comments. And what this will do is when you click on this play button, it makes the whole GUI invisible. Now click on the plus next to settings and add a script there. Copy and paste the second script in the comment section down below. What this will do is it makes the settings frame visible. But we don't have a settings frame. So inside of frame, click the plus and add a frame. Then we're going to rename this to settings frame. And if you name it something else, just make sure to change the name here. And then now we need to customize the settings frame. For the border size pixel, you can just make it zero because the only thing you'll be seeing is the other GUI behind this. And that already has the border size pixel. So add a text button and obviously make sure the offset is zero. So then it's fit to every device. Make sure the text is just a plain X or you can use an image. Then I've selected Arial Bold and it's scaled, of course. I'm just gonna quickly get rid of the border. There we go. Now, inside of the settings frame, add a text label. And I'm just gonna name this title. And then we need to customize it. But since we added the text bomb before, you just need to put it into something else and bring it back. So then the title is actually behind it. Make the text just plain settings or whatever you want to call it. And then now we have our settings. Inside of text button, add a script and copy and paste the final script that will be in the pin comment section down below. So what this will do is when you click the close button here, it makes that settings go away but then the main menu is still there so you still need to press play so the final thing we're gonna do is on the settings frame you need to scroll and find visible make sure there is no tick in there and then when we press play we're gonna do settings first because play will just close it off this will pop up obviously you can actually add settings I might make another tutorial on settings you can add so stay tuned and find out for so keep an eye out for that we press the cross does what then play and now we have our place so yeah guys if you found this tutorial helpful in any way then please leave like as that means YouTube will recommend it to more people which that means more people could be getting some use out of this tutorial and if you're new here or maybe just haven't already because didn't come to mind please 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 subscribe because like 93 percent of you guys aren't subscribed so i would appreciate it if you guys did subscribe but until next time keep scripting keep developing bye guys